for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Five of Wands and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Five of Wands, as you can see by the picture, it's the card above the word pass. It does refer to competition. Sometimes this can be career or work, but for the most part, it can refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and can be successful. But you'll have to try just to see results. Now, when this card appears, your need to believe, your need to believe in yourself is going to have to be stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. With this Five of Wands, you could be thinking of making a career change. Just know that you can be successful if that's the case. Now, it's paired with a Nine of Pentacles, which is one of, it's one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. It can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things will be going better than you thought possible. So, enjoy this good energy, share your wealth and happiness with others. So... Pisces, what I'm picking up is that the recent past energy between you and your person, like I said, we got this five of wands, and it's clarified by this, this nine of pentacles. So you could be dealing with someone that, wow, they're the type of person that they, they like getting attention from you. Yeah, because I'm just looking at the picture of this Five of Wands. I don't know if you can see the details of this picture really clear, but if I explain it to you, you'll get a better idea of what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so Five of Wands, if you can see it, you see these four men. There's five men in the picture. One man is standing off to the side. It's this man to the very far left side of the card. He's just standing off watching these four men battle each other with their wands or their sticks. Yeah, they're all fighting over this, over, over him. This man just standing off to the, to the left. And you can't see his face. I know you can't because it's hard for me to see it. But I can see it because I know the cards. And he's smiling and grinning. He's very happy to see these men beat each other up over him. It makes him happy. This is your person. They like when you... Give them that kind of attention. So your person, they might keep this type of drama going on because it makes them feel good when you fight over them. Yeah, they like this type of energy. They see this type of energy as, as for some reason, they see it as healthy energy. Because the Nine of Pentacles, it means that... The relationship rises to new heights, to the next level. It means that things are going good. So they need this type of energy to make them feel fulfilled. They need, they need you to fight over them. They need the competition to be going on. 
Yeah, they need to feel that you're struggling for dominance in the relationship. Yeah, it makes them feel important. It makes them feel like you two have a good relationship. So you're dealing with someone that, that likes this type of drama. Yeah, they like when you fight over them. They like the attention that they get from you. When they bring romantic rivals into the mix. And, and I'm just saying this because of the look on this man's face. He's just enjoying watching these people fight over him. Yeah, it, his face says it all. He's just standing there like, wow, this is great. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes this person, f um, their insecurities, they have in certain insecurities. That, that go away when they get all this attention from you. So yeah, they bring romantic rivals into the mix. And I'm not too sure if it makes you happy. Because like I said, it causes you to have to struggle for dominance in the relationship. While they're being pursued by several people. Yeah, and it's making you have to hold your head up high and practice confidence that you normally wouldn't have to do if your person was, um, actually, if your person didn't have so many insecurities that make them need to do this. But this is their ideal of a good, healthy relationship. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel like um, it enhances the relationship. It, it enhances the quality of what the two of you have. Because, plain and simple, they like this type of energy because you're giving them attention. And this is what they enjoy. So, that's a recent past energy between you and your person. Yeah, they make you struggle just for, dom you know, they make you struggle to stay on top of this connection. Struggle for dominance. And a lot of people, they don't, they don't really like that. So, I don't think you like it either, Pisces. Yeah, having all these other people in the mix. Yeah, but they enjoy it. So we move on over. Let's see what's coming up for you and your person. Now, we got the Three of Pentacles, and it's with the Eight of Wands. This Three of Pentacles is a very positive card. Could be related to work, career, but it's a really good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles. It tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. They notice the quality of work you do. Even if you don't get paid for it, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. Now... It's with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. It's, act, it's actually showing that there could be a lot of things up in the air. Yeah, a lot of things are up in the air. So, you could start to feel frustrated. <clears throat> frustrated and tired of waiting. But this card is actually an indicator that you need to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do. Now decisions, they must be made by other people. So nothing seems to be moving ahead. But keep in mind, don't try to force things. Because it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. 
you put your best out there. Now you have to wait. So what I'm picking up, three of pinnacles clarified by this eight of wands. What I'm getting is that, yeah, you might let this, your person know that you two need to, to talk. Have some serious discussions. Um, yeah, you you might pull pull your person over and let them know that uh, this the competition that they bring to the connection, just so that they can get attention from you. Yeah, it needs to be. It needs to have some serious discussion. So, the communication that you want, it may not be happening fast enough, but it's coming in. I don't know if your person is dragging their feet to talk about it, but it's it's showing that it's, the communication is not happening fast enough, but it's coming in. They're going to sit down and talk to you. You're going to want to know from them what else do they have to offer. Because this Three of Pentacles is about benefits. It's about some benefits. What, like, if you take a look at the Three of Pentacles, you see these, there's two people kneeling at this man's feet. And this man who's standing, he's showing them what he's doing or what type of work he does. Um, and they're looking up to him at amazement, like, wow. You did that? Wow, that's great. They're noticing the quality of the work that he does. So there's teamwork, collaboration, there's skill, and there's quality. So you want to know, you want some serious discussions coming up. You want to know, you want your person to let you know what, they, what else can they bring to the table other than romantic rivals. Yeah, you want you need you need some answers. That's what you want from your person coming up. And like I said, I'm getting that they're gonna drag their feet. Yeah, they're not gonna be so eager. Cause they probably don't have a lot more to tell you. Other than they like the fact that you give them a lot of attention when they bring other people into the mix. And you have to fight over it or fight over them. So they're dragging their feet. They know it's time for some serious discussions. You want to know what what else can they offer you? That you want you want them to tell you what else can they bring to the table other than drama with with you and other people that they invite into this into this connection so yeah you're gonna ask them to show you show you the money show you something other than a bunch of other people so that they can get attention from you yeah the communication is coming you're probably tired of waiting because you, you want some answers now. Because this, the silly gameplay has been going on for probably quite a while. So now you realize that you and your person need to talk. Yeah, because this, it's probably becoming really, really tired. Something tells me that your person has been doing this for a while. We're all through the connection. Yep, they like they, this person likes the attention they get from you when they invite romantic rivals into the mix. When they, yeah, it causes you to fight for them, or it just makes them feel like, yeah, they like the competition, and it makes them feel like, um, makes them feel good that you're fighting for them or you're fighting over them. Yeah, but now you're, you're saying, okay, enough is enough. 
Yeah, we need to talk. Show me what else you bring to the table. Yeah. Other than all these other people. So, that's what's coming up. A lot of discussion and communication. Now, let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Sun card and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, the Sun card, with this card, you're likely... You're likely to be doing really well. Things should be going really well for you. Your finances, they're likely to be in good shape. Now, this doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is not very high on the list for some some of you. I know for others, it is. Now, this is a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card, it does signify it's right around the corner. Yeah, now it's with the Queen of Pentacles. It's a card that indicates that you could be spending time, money, energy, and effort on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight or maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them. If you decide to do so, it's a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So Pisces, basically for your challenge, let's see, the Sun card clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm getting that some of you, you're making the decision to fall back from your person. Yeah, and it looks like you might decide to just take comfort in the ordinary things or the things that you used to do before you got involved with this person. Yeah, because you're tired of the fighting. And you're probably tired of not getting the answers that you need. Because you're still waiting on this communication from them. Yeah. You're still waiting on some answers that's going to make you satisfied. So you, you fall back. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is the card below the word challenge. You see how she, it looks like she's sitting in her backyard in a lounge chair, on a lounge chair. She's got her dog at her feet. He's keeping her toes warm. She's feeding the, the squirrels and all the pets or the animals that come by. She's holding on to her pinnacles. Pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. She's She looks satisfied and content. She's got money in the bank. Her dog is happy. She's finally back home. She's giving him attention. He's keeping her feet warm. And the squirrels and the birds, they all missed her. Yeah, so she's going back to the things that brought her a lot of peace and comfort. So, yeah, you take comfort in the ordinary things or the things that you remember that you used to do before you got involved with this person that make you struggle for dominance in in this relationship with them. This person makes you fight just to stay on top of the connection with them. And you realize that, yeah, you were at a good place before you met this person. You were at peace. And on top of that, you had a lot of happiness in your life. Before you met this person, there was a lot of sunshine. Yeah, everybody's glad that you're you're back. Especially your dog, they missed you. Like I said, the, the squirrels are glad you're back. They missed you they missed you they missed you feeding them. You look comfortable. Like I said, this is you know this is a happy place for you. So you're just realizing what makes you really happy or what made you happy or you're realizing how much more happy 
you were or you are before you met this person. Yeah, you're going back to how things used to be just good overall. Your happy days. And it was actually before this person came into your life. Yeah, there's no struggle. There's no challenge now. There's no fighting for for dominance. There's no struggle just to be on top or stay on top of the connection. There's no fighting other men or fighting other, other women that your person brings into the mix. So yeah, you're just taking comfort in the things that you used to do before this person came into your life. And you realize that, wow, this is your happy place. Yeah, so that's the challenge now. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, we got temperance, and it's with the strength card. Now, temperance, with this card, all your relationships, they could be going quite well. You may need to look at any deep personal issues and see if, if, see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them, integrate them, because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, and with your goals and aspirations. Yeah, it's about finding peace of mind, finding balance, taking a look at anything you feel guilty about, any mistakes that you feel you've made in your past, and forgive yourself and let it go, because it's really the only way you can truly make progress. Now that's temperance, and it's with the strength card. The strength card, with this one, it's important for you to take time to meditate, contemplate, and spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids. So don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear, because the outward things will be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So conquer any fears, control your impulses, and never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. So, yeah, Pisces, like I said, you realize, or now you remember, what made you really happy. And it's really not with this person that like for you to fight for them. Yeah, it's... You, you, you realize what makes you really happy. And like I said, it's being with your pets. Realizing, you know, things are just good. Maybe just by yourself. You realize you got money in the bank. Um, everybody's glad you're back. It makes them happy, your pets and your your friends, or it makes you happy. You're taking comfort in the ordinary things again. Yeah, you don't have the drama anymore. So you fell back from this person, and you realize it. And not only does it make you happy, and it gives you peace of mind, but your your life is feels like it's balanced again with temperance here. Yeah, so you you realize that this is how you bring balance back into your life. And you also realize with the strength card here that you need to practice self love, unconditional love, self respect. And now you're starting to feel empowered. And you realize that it's actually time to live your best life. It's time to live your best life. Yeah. So you, it looks like you're pretty much tur you're, tur you're turning to yourself. And you're taking joy in the ordinary things. The things that you did before you were with this person. It's bringing you balance. It's bringing you peace of mind. 
and it's causing you to be stronger. Yeah, it's causing you to to stand in your power. And and you're realizing that now is the time that you want to live your best life. Yeah, so for now, Pisces, you're taking comfort in the ordinary things, the things that you did before you met this person. I'm still picking up. They haven't shown you what what else they can bring to the table. That communication is still up in the air. It's still trying to come down. Something tells me that they're trying to figure out what it is, what else they can bring to the table. So that's why the communication is still up in the air. So for now, like I said, you just take comfort in yourself. And everybody's glad you're home. Your dog is, they missed you. Yeah, you were giving a lot of attention to this person. And to all the drama that they bring to the mix. But now you're, you're back to your pets, your, your home, your friends. Yeah, back to comfort and peace. And you realize it's time to live your best life and become empowered and strong again. And not be so focused on someone that likes drama. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not in a relationship or if you're not dealing with a love interest, um, the reading, it could be that you're dealing with a friend or a family member. Yeah, because I know a lot of you, you'll say, you'll ask me, my subscribers will ask the question, well, they'll say, well, I'm not dealing with anyone, so how could the readings be? Well, because these are not personal readings, they're general readings. You have to take the reading for however it resonates. So a lot of times, if it's not a love interest, you could be dealing with a family member or a friend, or it could be a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day and take care. Day and take care. Day and take care. Day and take care.